Aloha friends, welcome back to A Simply Simple Life. Today I'm going to have my assistant, Danielle, uh, to help me do a baking recipe. During this shelter in place, Danielle has been really uh, learning how to cook and bake alongside with me. So that's really, um, really nice. Huh, Danielle? Yes. <laughs> All right, today we are going to make what, Danielle? Disneyland churros. Disneyland churros. So there's been two recipes coming out uh, with Disneyland because of the shelter in place. So this is the first one that we're going to share with you guys. And then we're going to come back and share the other recipe on a different day. But today, Disneyland churros requires just very basic, simple ingredients. We are going to need... This is double recipe because I have a family of six. But uh, for a single recipe, you are going to need one cup of water. Where's the pointing? <laughs> Like, All right, take two for the Disneyland recipe. Uh, one cup of water, eight tablespoon of butter, one fourth teaspoon salt, three quarter teaspoon cinnamon, one and a four one and a quarter cups flour, three eggs, and one and a half cups vegetable or canola oil, and then half a cup of sugar. First step is we're going to get a saucepan. We are going to combine the water, the butter, and the salt, and the cinnamon over medium heat and bring to a rolling boil. Okay. Here's our water. Next is our butter. It's gonna splash. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna splash. That was a good one. And then... On top or all around? Salt. Yeah, turn on the heat. We put everything into our pot and now we're just waiting for it to boil. Stir in the flour, reduce heat, and then stir vigorously. Keep stirring it until it forms into a nice ball. And then we're gonna let it rest for about five to seven minutes. We're gonna go ahead and put the egg one at a time and then mix it. All right, it took a lot of work uh, to really mix this in once you add the egg, so a lot of arm muscle is needed. The reason that I doubled it is because I am making uh, almost half of it, about, uh, about half, with ube flavoring so we're gonna do a regular disneyland version we're gonna do an island version adding ube danielle and i are gonna do this together so it's in the piping bag i'm going to squeeze it and then she's going to cut okay be careful okay. while that's cooking i do have the sugar and the cinnamon in here we're going to, as soon as it comes out of the stove, we are going to put it over a paper towel and then put it in here with the cinnamon sugar mixture. In the meantime, I'm also gonna go ahead and mix the ube with this one. You know it's cooked when it's nice and golden brown. Then drain off the excess oil, place it on a paper towel. And then repeat the process. All right, so here is a couple more batches. Okay. It's nice to make two batch because it does not make a lot. So this would have been, I think, just the one batch. The other batch, we are going to make ube churros. Okay. Regular Disneyland churros, ube churros. And then let me take a bite. Look at that, it's nice. Very, very soft on the inside. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do testing. Mm. How is it? Mm. Oh my God. Is it good? That's really good. good. Yeah. You like your Korea? Thumbs up? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, friends, the ube. So, so good, look at that. 
So good. And that's it, two batches. This is what's left. 